Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this elongated heart pendant. And so here it is. Uh, it, it is using a 25 by 18 millimeter pear or teardrop fancy stone, which I did on the estate necklace in my last video. So that's what we're going to use. However, I'm going to give you numbers for using a 10 by 14. So the starting numbers for 10 by 14 teardrop, a 13 by 18. Here's the 18 by 25 and a 20 by 30. So if you have any of these stones, you can try this. Now I, here is the, the 20 by 30 stone. So I've done that and I've done the 25 by 18. I have not done these two yet. So that'll be a try on your part. I will give you the starting numbers and the bezel will be the same. So, you know, you'll just, you can play with these two and see That wouldn't be a cute little pair of earrings. So, you know, that would be fun, right? And then also I'm going to You'll be able to use a 25 by 18 millimeter cabochon as well. And all you will do is go to the, I'm going to link down below the goddess pendant. So this is something we made a while ago. Um, and here's the bezel for that 25 by 18 millimeter teardrop. It's right here. So I'll give you a link to that so you can do that. My inspiration for this was actually the goddess pendant. A viewer who is so talented, here's her rendition of the goddess pendant. And I loved that little point there on the top, her top cabochon here. And I thought, what if we just take that point and we put it here and it makes the, that teardrop shape into, you know, sort of a stylized heart. So if you think you don't inspire me, you certainly do inspire me. So thank you. So we're going to work on this one today. Give you a quick look. So this is using this stone right here and um, you can put any chain you like on it I love the little ribbon on it here I just did you know just a double chain of rondelles I love this one I think this is so pretty it's you know it just looks very vintage so really you can do anything you like as far as the chain is concerned <clears throat> losing my voice all right so before I lose my voice completely we will uh, clear this off and get a materials list going and we'll get started Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need your stone. So here's the 25 by 18. This is what we're doing on video, but I will give you the starting numbers for all of the stones. Two colors of Delicas. I'm using a metallic and a color. 15-0 seed bead. I have my Charlottes handy because you really might need these. So I would suggest you get some Charlottes. 11-0 seed bead. You'll need various parts for a chain. So I have a chain. I've got this link. It's about 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter. I've got a little bicone. You don't need that. That was something I just added at the end. Various um, jump rings and a lobster claw if you want to do that. You'll need eight pound fire line, some dragon thread. You can use either one or both. I find that um, Depending on the bezel and the stone, one or the other works better. So I'll let you decide which one you want to use. Size 10 and 12 beading needle. And a little stop bead. Don't forget, I, f I know I keep forgetting to mention the Ringberries mat. I adore this, this very pale pink mat. This giant one in the background. She will cut them to the size you like. The No More Oops bead tray. Any coupon codes uh, I will put down below as well. Okay, so... Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you enjoy my channel, ring that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. All right, so let's get started. Get started. So thread your needle with about, I don't know, 40 inches of thread. Put on a stop bead about in the middle. So you're going to pick up and drop down to your stop bead 54 of your Delicas. 
I'm going to sew those into a circle. I've alternated here. I started with a purple and I ended with a gold. You can do it all one color. I'm just going to sew through the first bead after my stop bead like that. It's the same bezel that we did for the estate necklace. Now I'm just going to pick up a gold bead, so a gold delica, and I'm going to put a round of delicas on. So exiting the purple, skipping the gold, sewing through the purple, like that. Picking up a gold, skipping the gold, sewing through the purple. If you're alternating, just pick up your gold. So through the purple, pick up your gold. So through the other color, purple, whatever it is. All right, just do that all the way around and then we'll stay. Okay, coming down to the end, putting on my last gold delica. So I'm just picking up my delica. I'm going to step up. So I'm exiting this purple one. I'm going to skip the gold one. I'm going to sew through this purple one and then the one on the diagonal to step me up to the next round. Like that. This is exactly how you should look. Alright, putting on a purple round now. One more round of delicas. So we're coming out of the gold. I'm going to put a purple. Just sew through the sticking out. Delicas or up beads, whatever you like to call them. Just like that. Going to do that all the way around and then we'll step up. Okay, I have one last bead to put on, so I have to step up now. So I'm exiting this gold bead, picking up a purple, sewing through this gold, which is the next sticking out bead, and then the purple one that's on the diagonal, which is going to step me up to the top of that round, the, the purple round, so I can put some more beads on. So that's what it looks like. Now we're going to pick up some 15 O's. We're going to put on, and you can give it a pull at this point, so just you don't have to pull it crazy, but just tighten it up a bit. So I'm going to pick up a 15-0 and sew through each sticking out purple bead or the color bead or whichever bead is you have that is the up bead or sticking out bead. When you get several on, maybe, well, it doesn't matter, 10 of them, 15 of them, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to do a little decrease and the way we're going to do that is so right here I've just put that bead on I'm just going to go through the next purple bead without any beads on my needle and that's just going to pull those two together you see so I'm going to have one place where I don't have a 15-0 and then I'm going to continue to put 15-0s on like that all the way around and then we'll step up so I'll show that to you in a second. There you go. So you see I don't have a bead right there. So that's going to be where the point of the stone is going to go. All right, so go all the way around and then we'll step up. Okay, I'm coming down to the end. I have a couple of beads to put on. So here, just picking up my 15 so I'm thinking the purple. Now I'm going to step up. So I'm exiting the purple, picking up a 15 I'm going to sew through this purple one and then the 15 on the diagonal. And that's going to step me up. So it looks like. Now we're going to add another round of 15 O's and we're going to put a 15 O in between each 15 O. It's like this. And when we get to where the space is, I'll show you what we're going to do. So here I'm getting close to where. I remember I didn't put a 15 -0 right here. I'm just going to continue putting on 15 -0, so just through each 15 -0, so exiting here, just going to go to, through this one. And when I pull it, see that pulls it right into a point at the top, and then just keep going around. So we're not skipping anything, we're just putting 15 -0s in between each sticking out 15 -0. All right, so get that done, and then we'll continue. Okay, I'm coming down to the end. I have a couple of beads to put on. So here, here, adding this 15 0. And now I need to add another 15 0 and step up. So picking up a 15 0, sewing through this 15 0, and then the one on the diagonal to step up. Like that. And now, pretty much done with this side of the bezel. However, I like to hold on to the thread 
just in case I need to add another round. This is going to be the back. You never know. So I always hold that one. So I want you to go to the other side of your bezel. Take your stop bead off and thread your needle. You're going to be exiting this purple bead or whatever color your bead is. This one, this one right here. I want you want the thread to be in the outside round of beads here. So I'm just going to sew through the gold one to get my thread to that side, just like that. All right. So just get to that point, and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So you can pop your stone in now. So this this is going to be the front we're working on now, and you want that point to go right up at the top where that gold delica is and if you turn it on this side it's where you know it's where we sort of constructed that little pocket for the point over there and we can adjust it a little bit as we go but you just want to sort of hold it in there right now and we'll start adding some 15 o's so just pick up a 15 o and sew through each sticking out delica Just like this. I'm just going to do that all the way around. And you're not going to skip anything. You're just going to continue all the way around, around the point, e everywhere, just putting a 15 0 in, be in between each sticking out delica. Okay, coming down to the end now, and I'm about to step up. So I'm exiting this delica. I'm just going to sew, pick up a 15 0, sew through this delica, and then the 15 0. On the diagonal to get that last bead on you give it a pull and make sure you're pulling oops pulling inward a little bit I just got my thread caught there let's come out there you go so here so this is what it looks like now you're just going to add another round of 15 O's so just pick up a 15 O and sew through every sticking out 15 0 up bead, whatever you want to call it. Pull inward. See when I pull inward, it pulls it, you know, it pulls it tight. So just keep doing that until you get all the way to the end. You're not skipping anything, just continue around. Okay, I'm down to the end. I'm going to put on my last 15 0 and step up. So you're exiting this one. I'm just going to sew through the next one and then the one on the diagonal. And now have that round on. Now I'm going to stop here and then do the little point. You can add another round on if you need it. Now on all of these, let's say on this one, so these are the crystals, I did not add another round because you want to have space for this little point down here. You don't want it to all buckle up and the more you put around the less space you're going to have at the top. So I think this is perfect. On the the um, cabochons, because they're more domed and a little wider, you know, there's more space, you can add another round of 15 O's on. I think I did there. I definitely, let's see, yeah, and I did on this one, okay, because they're, again, they're more rounded, so you can add more beads. And on the 20 by 30, I think, yeah, I added another round, um, you know, because it's a, you know, you've got a wider space here. But for the 25 by the 18 by 25 stone. I think just this is perfect. And then we'll go ahead and do this little heart shape right there. Okay, so what you can do at this point is you can sew both threads in. So sew your front thread in. And if you need another round on the back, you can definitely put another round on the back. I left that thread just in case. So if you feel that you need another round on the back, you can put another round on the back. And if you do, when you go through these beads, so you're going to be going through all the beads, right? The sticking out beads, you'll come out of this bead, put two beads right there if you need this, you know, at, just from here to here. And that way you'll fill in that space and you'll and you'll um, snug it up if you need it. All right, but um, I don't think I'm going to do it, but you can do that. All right, so just get to that point and then clip off all your threads. We'll start a new thread for the, for the little hard part. Just a little tip, uh, if your bezel is loose, you know, if, if it's not feeling snug, mine's very snug. It's, you know, it's perfect. Um, but if yours is feeling a little loose because maybe your tension is loose or your stone is slightly smaller, take the, the rest of the thread you have left over and just sew through all your delicas again. But just do it on the diagonal. 
So if you go around again, just by going on the diagonal, just like I'm doing right here, but remember, you don't want any thread showing, so everything is on the diagonal. And then work your way all the way around and pull. It will tighten it up a bit. It'll fill up the beads and also it'll tighten it up a bit. Make sure you don't knock your your point. Well, here we're gonna, here's the point. Make sure you don't knock your point out of center. Just always be careful with that. But you can fill those beads up a little bit and tighten it up a little bit. Let's start the hard part of the bezel. So where you are going to put that is really going to be determined by how much space you have to fit it. So with these cabochons, I have a lot of space around the top so I can add more beads. And you're, you're starting down at one end, like let's say here, and then you're going in. You know, you're going to bead back and forth and back and forth, adding one bead, less bead each time until you get to a point. Uh, I think with the 18 by 25 that we're working with now that the more shallow um, point works better but you can play with that but I'm going to do the shallow point so here's a shallower point here's a, a deeper one but that's up to you you can definitely play with that so thread your needle with about a foot and a half of thread put on a stop bead um, leave enough of a tail to sew in and then we'll get started so we're going to find center of our stone here so if you notice at the bottom point, I have a seed bead right here in the middle and the two delicas. I'm just going to go up and my this space right here, this bead up here, so this purple one and this little 15 -0 is center. I'm going to count four from the center on each side. One, two, three. Here's number four. I'm going to put my needle in right there. And I'm when I put the beads on, I'm going to end up coming out of the fourth bead on this side as well. So here, I'm going to use an, a contrasting color bead so you can see what I'm doing. So we're just going to bezel. I'm just going to put a bead in between each sticking out bead, but just along that one area. So here, one, two, Another one. Another one. I want to make sure that you, you know, you're keeping you're exiting the right bead at the end because it's hard to see when you're using all the same color. Sometimes it's even hard to see when you're <laughs> when using a contrasting color. All right, so let's check it out and see where, and see if we did it right. Here's my my center right here, and then I have three beads on each side. So I have one in the middle, and then I have three here and three here. And that's exactly what you want it to look like. So just get to this point and then we'll put another row on. All right, let's put another row on. So all I'm going to do is turn around with this thread. I'm just going to weave through the beads till I'm coming out of the the um, this bead now. So the one that's sticking out or this turquoise one for me. So exiting this one, I'm just going to sew through this one on the diagonal. I'm just going to move around my bezel and then through this gold delica. I mean, if there's a better route, you know, you can take it. Just don't um, just sew on the diagonal or when you, you can sew next to a bead when you're reversing direction, like, just like that. So sewing through that one. Let's see. Then I'm going to sew through Make sure I'm the gold one. So through this one. So this purple one through this this one. Going sort of back and forth a little bit. You want to make sure you're coming out this way. So I'm reversing direction. And now I'm in a space where I can just reverse direction, sew through 
this one. So that's the little gold one under the green one, and then this one. So maybe there's a, there might be a little <laughs> better root, but you just want to make sure that you are sewing on the diagonal, reversing direction until you come out of this bead. All right, so let's just add the beads on. There. Just putting a bead in between every sticking out bead. You know, it's going to start to get a little bit crowded in there, but just give it a little push down. Okay, one more. Like so. These Charlottes seem pretty big for Charlottes. I'm wondering if they are Charlottes. So that's what I have so far. I'm going to do that again. You're going to put another round on in between the, be the sticking out beads, but I'll just let you get to this point and then we'll continue. Okay, let's put another row on and then I'll let you go off and play on your own. So exiting right here. So I want to put, here's the sticking out bead. I want to come out of this bead to put beads in between here. So each row you're putting on one less bead. So I just switched the, the turquoise beads to gold because I thought it would be easier to see. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm exiting this end bead here. I'm just going to sew through this one. I'm just going to turn around again. And this one. Now some people will just put a knot in between the beads and turn around. I'm not going to do that, but if you find that easier, you can do that. I'm going to sew up. I'm going to reverse direction, sew through the purple one, this gold one, back down this gold one, so reversing direction again, like that. And then I'm going to sew, I'm going to reverse direction, sew through this one, this one, and that, so I'm exiting this one. So these are all on the diagonal, so that's fine. So one, two, and three. Like that. And now we can put some more beads on. So putting a bead on here. Another one. And it's gonna be, you know, like I said, a little wonky until you're until you get all your beads on. Three. Four. So I notice one bead less every round, every row, and then number five right here. And then when I pull in a little bit, see it starts to sit nicely. So there I have my next row on, and now you want to turn your thread around again. You want to come out of the sticking out bead here, and you can put one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to turn around again, two, three, two, and then one until you have your point. All right, so I'm going to let you go off and play on your own. Um, have fun, rewind if you need to, and I'll see you when we get to the point. Okay, all done. So I'm sure you notice that the closer you get in, the easier it is to turn around. It's just when you have a lot more beads to put on that it's, you know, you have to sort of um, go through a little bit of a maze. But I think it came out great. I think it was a good place to, to, um, to put the heart shape. I'm not crazy about the turquoise beads there, but <laughs> I think it come out. It came out really good. All right, so just finish up, sew in your threads, and then we'll kind of finish up the rest of the. We'll do a little embellishing around the the um, bezel, and we'll we can add a chain. All right, seeing a few. Okay, so let's put on a little stitch in the ditch. So thread your needle with about a foot of thread, um, or if you even have some thread left over, if you didn't clip off your threads, you can just continue on. But I'm just going to put a separate thread on. So uh, maybe a foot. I mean, we just want to go around. So I'm going to sew through the second bead in, the second Delica in. So the, here's the first one. It's a gold one. And then the second one is this sort of purpley one. I'm just going to sew through that. And then I'm just going to put an 11 0 from this purple one to this purple one. So just putting it in that little space between the two. So that's stitch in the ditch. I'm just going to do that all the way around. It's 
like that. So just keep going around. When you get to the bottom part, just make sure you go from here to here and just keep going. Make sure you stay in the same line and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, last stitch in the ditch bead. So just sewing through this purple one. Like that. And then let's get rid of this thread. We're gonna be sewing through the purple one. Let's sew through this delica here just to make sure it's nice and tight. And then you can actually even go through this 15 0 this delica. I want to make sure this is going to stay because this is what we're going to attach our clasp to. So I'm exiting that gold delica. See that guy right there? So I'm just going to sew through the gold delica. I'm going to reverse, reverse direction, sew through the gold delica on the other side of where that 11 -0 is. little tip to make things really tight. So we're going from this one right here right to the other side. The only thing is you just want to make sure when you do that that it, your thread doesn't get caught on anything. So you see how that goes right in and it really um, locks that thread in. So I'm just, you know, now and then I'm going to cut that thread off and I'm going to do the same thing with the, the other thread and cut those both off and then we'll uh, add the bail. Okay, let's get the bail on. So for the crystal, we're going to work over these two beads here. The capuchon's a little different, or if your center came out different and you have a bead in the center, that'll be a little bit different, and I'll show you that one in a minute. But, but I, the crystal is gonna work out like this. You're gonna work over these two in the center. So I'll thread your needle with about, I don't know, two-ish feet of thread, put on a stoppy, leave enough of a tail to sew in. I've just sewn through that this one bead here the of the two in the center I'm just going to sew through the other one and that's where I'm going to put my herringbone right there okay so I'm just going to turn my piece around and don't worry about these we'll pop them up in a second and I want you to just get a sew around to the other side so you're coming out the top here so just going to reverse direction you're experts at this now sew through that delica right there and on the diagonal the purple one then the gold one like that and then you're going to reverse direction and go back up this 11 0 right here and then through this one. Okay? And you know, this is going to have to be sewn in also. And this is where I end up, right up at the top. So let me show you how to get the bail on um, if you have a cabochon and your center instead of the center being coming in between two beads here it's you have a center right through a center right through an 11 0 there see that so you're going to work through these three beads one two three and disregard all my threads in this bead i broke a bead and i had to i took took it apart so i could show this to you because i forgot all right there we go so we're just going to thread our needle come through this bead we're going to work over these three beads just like that you're going to pick up four 11 0s and you're gonna go from this one, just skip over to this one. And what that's gonna do is just gonna set it up, you see, so you have a bead here and here in between the three, and then you're just gonna go around just like we did before um, with the two and end up sewing up through these, I'm not gonna do it, these three, and then your herringbone is gonna start right there just like, just like the other um, bale. So the same exact way, only you're adding four beads and going around and coming up till you get to the top here. All right, so if you need uh, to do that, you know, that, that's what you can do. All right, let's start some herringbone. So I'm exiting here, picking up two of my 11 O's. I'm just gonna sew right down through the next bead. And it's gonna be loose right now because you haven't sewn in the other side. You can actually take that stop bead off and sew it in if you like right now. So like that. And then you're going to, so you're coming out of this one, you're going to sew back up through 
these two. Just make sure nothing gets caught. And now you have the start of your herringbone. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. Go down this one. And then back up through these two. It's going to get caught on all your little stitch in the ditch, guys. <laughs> but that's okay. And, you know, it might be a good idea, like I said, to sew in that other thread. That's what you're going to do uh, for, I don't know how many, um, how long, just as, as, as big as you want your opening to be. This one, you know, I left it pretty big so I can fit anything through it. So how many beads is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 12 or 13 herringbone stitches. And then, you know, wrap it around and see if it's good for whatever you want to put this on. Or you can do less than that. All right, so just keep going on with that, and then when you're done, come back. You can actually, and like I said, sew in this thread. And, when, and then when you're done, come back, and I'll show you how to attach it to the other side. Okay, we're back, so I have all my herringbone on. And I did something a little fun. Um, I don't know why, but I'll just share it with you. So I was exiting here. I just went down all the way, all through all my beads again, because I thought it would tighten them up. And, I, and when I got to the end, I thought, wow, I could put a little crystal there. So I took a little sort of purpley pink color crystal. I put it on right there and then went right back up the other side again, just like that. And I thought that was, I thought that looked kind of pretty. <laughs> right, so you can do that if you like. Now I'm just going to turn it to this side and I just want to attach like so. So I'm just, I'm exiting on one side here. I want to find this, uh, the bead to attach to, and I'm going to attach to this purple one because that's sort of this the center bead there, you know, under this guy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to sew through this purple one. You might need a, you're probably going to need a size 12 beading needle here. So like that. Okay. So I've attached to one side of that purple one, and then you're just going to go back up these guys, a few of these guys, to attach the other side. And then here when I pull. That should be attached right in the center. See that? And then just go, go down again, go around your delica again and around, come back through the delica again, and then sew your thread in along your bezel somewhere. And that should give you a nice connection. And you have a little bicone there too, if you like. <laughs> All right, so get that done and come back and we'll finish up. Okay, so to end it off, I just took a bit of chain and I put on one end of the chain, I put a lobster claw and the other end I just have a, 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 a jump ring so jump ring and a lobster I added this sort of um, decorative ring here and if your decorative ring does not open if you want to do it this way then make sure you add it before you close up your your um, bail all right so that way you can just add it on like so and then I just took a little bit of chain put on a key charm because I thought it looked cute with the heart <laughs> or if you want um, you can do a, a gemstone chain, and of course I didn't finish it yet, but I'll just, you know, do some crimp beads and I'll, you know, put a clasp on. You can use even bigger ones. I only hit four millimeter in the same bead, but if you have five or six, that would look gorgeous. You know, make it decorative, as beautiful as you like, you know, as decorative as you like. Um, so there you go. That's kind of an idea of how to finish it up. All right, so I hope you had fun with this. This was a lot of fun. Give it to your mom. Give it to your sister your bestie, uh, your neighbor that, you know, uh, picks up your paper, you know, when you're on vacation <laughs> or anybody or yourself. All right. So I want to thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.